Refuge is available. Some of you are old enough to remember Boris Yeltsin, who was the uh, first president of the Russian Federation. He became president back in July of 1991. And a few years after that, he was interviewed by Diane Sawyer, I think maybe on an ABC News program. And she asked this former, former Communist Party chief, do you believe in God? And Boris said, yes, yes, I think I do. There's just too much evidence in the universe to deny that there must be a God. But then Diane said, are you going to go to heaven? And Yeltsin quickly said, no. She said, why not? He said, because I am a sinner. And she said, would that keep you out of heaven? He said, yes. And then he said this, there's no reason that God would or should ever let me into heaven. He's not the only person who feels that way. He's not the only person who's ever had that thought. How tragic it is to be in need of refuge and to not know that it exists. I mean, imagine if your child has a, a disease that's going to take his life and there's a cure for the disease at the hospital, but you don't know to go there. Imagine if, there, if there's a building, it's on fire, and there's a way to get out, but you don't know where it is. That, that's horrible stuff, but folks, listen to me. That pales in comparison to facing an, to face an eternity without God who has made a way of escape, and you don't know that it exists.